Saving the ocean and the blue economy could be one aspect of the sustaining employment problems in the country. Kenya, currently, we are now uh, getting about 20,000 metric tons of fish, which gives us about 500, bi 25 billion Kenya shillings every, every year. But there is through research uh, done by Kenya Marine, we at, we, 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 we suppose that we can be able to get up to 500 million, sorry, to, can be able to get up to 1,000, 150,000 metric tons of fish every year. This, uh, this gives us about uh, 150,000 metric tons. We are able to get from 26,000 metric tons, which earns us five or so Kenya, billion Kenya shillings, we are able to get up to 300,000 metric tons, which translates to probably 90 to 100 billion Kenya shillings. On the express, we have not added anything. If you put value addition on this, we be going almost 150 million, so 150 billion Kenya shillings every year. Blue economy, the oceans, can create very many jobs for our country. Statistics uh, show that uh, for every uh, agricultural job, you probably you pump something like uh, uh, 300,000 Kenya shillings, you're able to create one job. This is not comparable with, let's say, manufacturing. Probably we will require, probably to make one job, 90 to 100 billion Kenya shillings. Only ex -feso. we have not added anything. If you put value addition on this, we be going almost 150 million, so 150 billion Kenya shillings every year. Blue economy, the oceans, can create very many jobs for our country. Manage. Remember, we are in the ocean uh, decade of uh, we are in the in the decade of ocean science, and the key thing which will drive the ocean decade is data. So, Western Indian Ocean has been the forefront in trying to supply this data because. For any policy direction, for any policy reformulation, we require facts, we require data. And Western Indian Ocean, through, it, uh, um, through its mandate, has been able to fund researchers and been able to bring scientists together, they are like now, to share uh, disseminate their information, uh, share their findings. And from there, we will be able to uh, pass this information to policy makers, and it will be able to influence the policy direction in the Western Indian Ocean in terms of uh, marine ecosystem and sustainability. So our coming together today, uh, this week, gives us another impetus, gives us another milestone in terms of uh, getting more data, getting more information, which will form a basis of um, how we utilize the ocean. <clears throat> Remember, the oceans, are the least standard uh, uh, ecosystem in the world. Uh, we are told we know more about the moon and other, other, other uh, extraterrestrial bodies more than the ocean. The ocean is deep, some areas up to 10, uh, 10, 10 kilometers, and it's almost impossible place to go there. We have barely scratched the surface in terms of knowing what is in the ocean. But remember, the ocean is very critical. You ask about what will be the impact in terms of uh, the local person back in Kenya or back here in, you, uh, in any other country uh, along the Western Indian Ocean. This science we gather today will be a basis of policy formulation. Uh, will, be a, uh, will be very key in terms of policy guidance on how we manage our ecosystem. Like now we're talking more of marine spatial planning as we move on because what we have been seeing in the recent past is a lot of conflict in terms of the transition of the ocean space, starting from tourism, marine transport, fisheries, and the rest. At the end of the day, what we require, what we want as researchers is for the community to own the processes. And this has happened very well, like in the South Coast, whereby Mikoko Pamonja, and now we have gone to Vanga for a blue forest, and the Lamu, whereby the community are the initiators of the program. They are the ones who protect the mangroves. They are the ones who rehabilitate and destroy the mangroves. 
And at the end of the day, the science we have gotten, we are able to assist them in selling the carbon to the world market. So the science we are doing is very key because if there was no science, <coughs> we would not be able to sell the carbon in the, in the world market because it's based on a very complex uh, scientific formula which is being done at the South Coast, uh, the team led by Dr. Cairo and others. So science is key, but at the end of the day, science for the community and for the globe.